Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another video. This time, we are back talking about upcoming merchandise. For some reason, we've just been getting a lot of news about merch. This information came out yesterday, you know, the day that I took off. I didn't miss my daily upload streak, because technically I streamed late that night, so... We're still, we still got that streak going, boys. Yeah, so this information came out yesterday. Also, something that came out yesterday was the food theory video on Chuck E. Cheese pizza. I'm gonna be doing a reaction to that most likely tomorrow, so stay tuned. Anyways, in today's video, we're gonna be going over some leaked information by Funko, as well as a sneak preview of their new plushie for Mr. Frostbear himself. I'm wearing my blue just like him, cause he's blue. And even though we're not looking at the plushie right now, um, we'll get to it later, let me just say, the colors for the plushie are beautiful. But again, before we get to the plushie, I wanna talk about a listing for new merchandise from Funko. Funko legit just tweeted out a preview for their new board game, so I guess this is a new Funko products video, instead of just the plushies and the listings. So we'll take a look at the board game later. Yeah, so going back to the listing, as you can see, we have Funko plushies and action figures on the list. We have FNAF Spring Colorway Cupcake, FNAF Spring Colorway Foxy, Spring Colorway Freddy, Spring Colorway Foxy, Spring Colorway Freddy, and Spring Colorway Foxy. And after Foxy and Freddy, you can see that there are some letters in parentheses, and these mean green, blue, pink, and purple. Which, if, if my memory is correct, we have had plushies that are these exact same things. You know, it's a pink um, Freddy, it's a purple Foxy. So we've had these before, so I'm guessing they're most likely just re-releasing these. And I'm guessing, since it's called the FNAF Spring Colorway Collection, um, that these will be released sometime in the spring, or I should say re-released. After that, though, we have some action figures for Chocolate Bonnie, Chocolate Chica, and Chocolate Bonnie. Now, Chocolate Bonnie is the only character out of those three that we know exist right now. Chocolate Bonnie, of course, being the Bonnie skin in FNAF Special Delivery, but Chocolate Chica and Chocolate Freddy are completely new additions. Oddly enough, there was no Chocolate Foxy, at least on this listing, which is strange because usually Funko likes to do Foxy because he is a fan favorite. What's interesting is that these are all action figures. They're not plushies, unlike the Frostbear plushie, which we will get to shortly. They're action figures of Chocolate Bonnie, Chocolate Chica, and Chocolate Freddy. I'm very interested to see how these turn out. Um, again, since they're action figures, I wasn't expecting these to be action figures, I'll be honest. I was expecting plushies, maybe even just some mystery minis. The Pops was also another idea in my head, but action figures, that completely caught me off guard. Yeah, so I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see what these new chocolate action figures are going to be about. And that is the listing, so now I want to move on and talk about the new Frostbear plushie. So yesterday, a huge channel by the name of Puppet Steve, he's an unboxing channel, he does a lot of reviews on toys. He put out a video called FNAF Frostbear, Official Funko Security Breach Exclusive 2020 Plush In Hand Review. And in the video, he does exactly that. He does a in hand review of the brand new FNAF Funko Frostbear plushie. I'll be showing clips of the video right now, but I highly recommend that you go watch the full video using the link in the description. It's only eight minutes, it's not that long, it gives a full in-depth analysis of what the plush is like in hand. But yeah, as you can see, it has the same base as the first wave of plushies, but the eyes are sewn in, so that's interesting. It's kind of like a mix between the new plushies and the old plushies. Honestly, I really like it. Again, I love the colors. I think it's very detailed and very accurate to Frostbear. I'm definitely going to try my hardest to get my hands on it when it releases. As of right now, it is not out. I'm not sure when this plushie releases. Apparently, it's in line with the Security Breach plushies. I'm guessing it's probably part of that set because a lot of people were confused. Well, normally they do exclusive plushies. Where are the exclusives? So I'm guessing this Frostbear plushie is part of the Security Breach collection. So this plushie, again, it has no release date. I don't even know when the normal Security Breach plushies are releasing at this point, because they were available, but then most orders got cancelled, but then some didn't, so I don't know. If I had to take a guess, I'm guessing this probably isn't the only exclusive plushie. At least I hope it's not, because honestly, I'm still waiting for a Security Girl plushie as well as a Glitch Trap plushie. Basically just any merchandise for those two I'm waiting for. So that is the Frostbear plushie, and now we're going to move on to the news that literally was revealed like five minutes ago as of recording this. So Funko just tweeted out, good luck surviving the night, announcing Five Nights at Freddy's survive till 6am game. 
available for pre-order at Walmart now. So it seems like they're doing a lot of Walmart um, products right now. I don't know if that is on purpose or if it's just they were announcing the Walmart exclusives at this moment and then they'll release like GameStop and Target ones later. I don't know. And then it has a picture of the four characters, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy in front of balloons and confetti and all that stuff and it says FNAF survive till 6 a.m. game. It's a one to two player game for ages 13 and up. Looking at the official pictures, which I have not had a look at just yet, this looks like an interesting game. So you can pre-order it right now and based off of the website, it says that it will arrive sometime around early October. So on the back of the box, it has a description, which I'm gonna read right now. Can you survive the night shift at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza? As a newly hired security guard, it's your duty to keep an eye on the security cameras and make sure nothing goes wrong. Keep alert to movements in the dark, but be wary of using your limited power for the lights and doors. Can you keep the animatronics out of your office or will you be their next victim? It's high tension jump scale fun in this spooky strategy game. To get through the night, be sure to 1. Check the security cameras. 2. Conserve your power and 3. Avoid Freddy and his friends. And then they have a picture of the actual board and it looks interesting. This is an original game so I'm not sure what to expect from it. It's an entirely new layout though for the camera system. It's entirely new. It uses images from FNAF 1 and 2 it looks like, but the whole map is completely new. You have cards for Freddy, Foxy, and Chica. As well as up top I can see Toy Chica, Toy Bonnie, and Balloon Boy, and Toy Freddy. There's there's a card that says camera monitor as well as another card that says camera monitor. They're in orange and blue for player one and player two. At the bottom you can see two dice. Um, it only appears that they have five and ten on there. There's also a place to mark how much power you have left. It seems like there was a start card and then there's just a map. <laughs> There's different cameras, cam 4, 3, 2, 1, office. Up top, it also looks like there was an office as well as cam 1 through 4. So I'm guessing one player is on one side and the other player is on another side and they have to try and get their animatronic to the other player's office as fast as possible. And if their character gets caught at the other person's office, the other person can block the door or if they don't react in time, they get killed. I don't know. Um, again, this is brand new information. Up until this point, we only knew the game's name. And at that point, it was still called the Survive the Night game, so that's all we knew. So this is new information. It's a whole new game. It's original. I don't know what to expect. However, I am very interested to see what this is all about. There's a few more things about the game I'll go over quickly before we end the video. There's another description, this time on the website. It says, you are the night shift security guard at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, and it is your duty to check the security cameras and keep the equipment in good working order, and beware the animatronics that activate on their own at night. Each turn, you'll check the cameras and react to movements in the dark. Choose to turn on the lights or close the doors to protect yourself, but watch out. Each reaction depletes your limited power. Keep Freddy and his friends out of your office until you can clock off at 6 a.m. Game contents, you got a game board, 96 camera cards, two reference cards, 13 clock cards, two power dials, and two power dice, as well as instructions. Apparently, it has a game length of 20 minutes for players 1 and 2, and again, ages 13 and up. So that is the board game FNAF Survive Till 6 a.m. Again, you can order it right now for pre-order, um, and it will arrive sometime around early October. So that's all the new information we have right now. I was actually very surprised that we got a reveal for the new game at the exact time I was recording this video, so that's actually kind of nice. So it kind of fits into one nice video talking about the new Funko product. So there's that. Probably should have said this at the start, but I'm saying it right now. Funko still has their FNAF license. They have not lost it. Scott did not fire Funko. They still have their license. They're still making products, as you can see. And honestly, the majority of them, I'm pretty hyped for. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side.